Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you something very special. It's a Chinese mobile city building kind of gacha game uh, called Jiangnan. Um, it's actually called like Jiangnan Beijing 2. I probably totally butchered the pronunciation, but here we are. Um, sometimes in a like English um, publications, it's called Channel Town. It's a relatively new game, came out last year, summer last year. And it plays in uh, like the Chinese medieval age. And uh, you build a Chinese uh, city and well, do what you do uh, usually in a city builder. So you build a bigger, more prosperous, richer, more industrious, uh, more beautiful city. That's the whole purpose of the game. Um, I play it right now on Bluestack, on an emulator, but I also play it on uh, my smartphone while commuting to work. So yeah, what is it all about? Basically, this is your city. This is actually the third city you unlock. Uh, there are several maps. You start with one. I already uh, um, built up two of them. And this is the third one I unlocked. Uh, I unlocked it like this morning. So it's really new. You just start uh, usually with like one production building for food, some fields. Um, uh, the main government building and uh, like uh, free houses uh, as you can see there is a little bit more going on um what did i build i built more houses houses are important because in houses there are actually living your people um there are two different categories npcs like the small one and Player characters, those are the big characters you roll actually for, like in the gacha system. Um, yeah, those characters are usually like inspired by real historic personalities or sometimes legendary historic personalities. Like for example, this guy here, uh, he's uh, one of my chief architects and I leveled him quite a lot. Uh, this guy here is Zhang Zeduan and he was like a famous painter I think in the Song Dynasty. And yeah, those characters have like stats, they can carry artifacts, they level up. The NPCs do uh, the standard building things. So if you want to send someone on the fields, like this, um, you see, you need one worker, five money. I have quite a lot of money. Or oh, actually, no, and I will come to that later. And in three minutes, it will produce like 15 vegetables plus 60 vegetables in bonus. So we can either send like an NPC or we can send a player character. Um, those player characters have stats and they provide bonuses. This red sign here indicates that uh, the special ability of the character also triggers while doing that action. Here is the experience for points gained. As you can see, it's, it's nothing. Like, uh, usually in later production buildings you get like 100 experience per run or something like that. But like basic vegetable patch, well... And then we sent a small little Chinese person to do the field works. This is for example bamboo. Bamboo is very important. I would love to upgrade. This here is always the upgrade button. To upgrade it into a level 2 bamboo forest. But I need more bamboo to produce more bamboo. Basically spruits and stuff like that. And uh, quite a lot of food. So I can't right now upgrade it. But I can produce some and I will produce some with this guys. Uh, and then 
we produce bamboo or grow bamboo. This is the like um, warehouse where you can uh, keep track of the stock you have. And yeah, those are the bare bones mechanics. Now you can build things. There are five different categories of buildings and you get into the building menu by this button. Also, by the way, I don't speak any Chinese. <laughs> like, none at all. And this uh, game is purely in Chinese. Um, I figured everything out, like the game mechanics and so forth, purely by trial and error. Like, it was just that. I played quite a lot of impression games, um, like the old Pharaoh and Caesar Free and stuff like that. And also I played quite a few gacha games. So, through this experience, I started this game and I figured it out myself what everything does. Uh, uh, the tutorials are quite well made, so I rarely hit a wall where I didn't knew what to do at all. So, this is building things. We have uh, here like um, shops and stuff like that. Uh, buildings that produce mostly money. And the richer the shop, the more money they produce. Like the basic furniture shop, they produce nearly nothing or not that much at all. Here one uh, pharmacy, pharmacy is the English word, like one pharmacy uh, that really generates quite a, quite a lot of income. Then we have the basic production buildings. Like for example, vegetables, fish, and you can turn vegetables and fish into like processed food. This uh, thing uh, uh, turns bamboo into planks. Um, this grow uh, turns actually threads into like um, basic clothing, cloth balls, I think it's the term. Uh, this one really turns it into clothing. This is like a silk thread production and so on. We will see like my already built up industry like in my other cities. But first things first, I would like to grow more bamboo because bamboo is in this city the basic resource you need to build quite a few of, uh, of the buildings. So I want to grow an additional bamboo forest. I can't because I'm lacking processed food. Like, But I actually have a lot of food in my other cities. This is the world map. And I already sent like quite a lot of shipment of uh, food uh, like uh, to this new town. I call it Bamboo River Town, I guess. And um, now I only have to find the ship. There it is. And um, yeah, it delivered the processed food. Now I can grow another bamboo forest. Those are the skills. Or not the skills, but the stats. And the higher this stat is, the faster he builds um, a building. As you can see, 955 experience points. That is quite a lot. He would actually trigger an ability. Then this guy too. And I think I will go with uh, this one. Because he's only level 16. He's already level 36. Uh, so he will actually level up when uh, doing that action so we'll do just that let's turn it and as you can see he and his poles go there and uh, they build the bamboo forest um or grow the bamboo forest and it will take 26 minutes and that's the amount of seconds so yeah it's time gated uh, some actions like really take a lot of Time, and it's not a game you play on hours 
with no end in one is setting, but it's like a small little game you play each day. It's free. You get it in the um, East Asian Android store. How you get it in Western countries, it's not that complicated. You either download uh, like the APK, uh, APK file for yourself. You just have to Google it. I think this is now version 1.4.1. I will put a, a link into this in description below. And um, you can also install TapTap. Uh, TapTap is like an uh, additional provider for uh, not region block, but uh, like some games just aren't like available uh, in uh, Western countries uh, because the publisher decided uh, to do so. And uh, through TapTap you can just um, look those games and find them and then install them and it's also upgrading automatically. So that is another possibility. I also will put uh, the link into the description below for TapTap. Tap. Um, the vegetable is ready and we produce more vegetables and we can turn this vegetable into food. Let's do that. And we have here another restaurant, but we don't have enough vegetables. So yeah, let's just produce more vegetables. Vegetables are healthy. You should eat more vegetables. So what else do we see here? Um, we have here different regions. You have to unlock those small uh, um, city parts by uh, just clicking on them. And then you see like two hours, 30 minutes, 300 food, 40,000 money, free workers would be needed to unlock this one. This one, only 5,000. Two workers and 100 food. Uh, that's quite easy, but then there are like, I don't know, uh, let me see, uh, 30,000. I will show you some other regions and the prices go up, 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 up. It can get really expensive. Your houses generate taxes. You at the beginning of a city uh, need to click uh, on uh, the houses uh, to get the taxes but after really fast you can get like this building here it's like a tax collector automatic tax collector and that way it really works fine i will now send some wood down uh, there from my capital or not wood but planks uh, uh, what this was i will explain shortly here are the planks let's say 500 uh, planks it uh, would take four hours seven let's also take some passengers for the additional population because a lot of my characters are currently uh, of course in my capital living in my capital so yeah and send will take roughly six hours this is like some kind of mole people thing i don't know but what happens if this pops up you can click it you can Click here and then you are transported to a city of your friend because of course you have friends and friend lists. Then you visit your friend's city and you look for that mole person. Um, bom, bom, bom. This is really efficient building and here it is. Then you just click it on it and here you can pick up like um, a reward those are really valuable those are your standard uh, not your standard but uh, your prime roles for getting new characters and yay i got another role we can click another one so 
so yeah then uh, we are transported oh that is really nice this garden looks absolutely stunning ah i wish i would have a, have it but... oh well how you get like those nice decoration buildings i will explain later but first the mole person here it is as you can see, it, some things are already grayed out because like you sent the molar man to several of your friends and uh, each one uh, can pick uh, like a reward and then it's not available for those that click later. We will take the three standard rolls. So. Let's get those. And now we can produce some food. Nice. Here is the character screen. The character button. Those are all the characters I have. Like there are three and technically four different kind of characters. There are like the gold characters and the most valuable with the most uh, with the best skills and the best stats. There are the blue ones. Those are second tier. And there are green ones, those are the last here. They are the basic, the really, really, really basic characters. Uh, they have not that good stats and their skills are also mediocre. And then you have like the joke character that is totally useless. If you click uh, here, you get uh, like uh, into the character screen. And we have here the stats. This one is like the building ability and for an architect of course it's ludicrously high he's my best architect in, uh, in my civilization this here is like um, agriculture and animal farming uh, husbandry stuff like that this one is like um, yeah manufacturing goods like uh, refining goods then this skill, uh, skill is needed this one is finance he's really bad with money and um, yeah you need this skill for like um, when you trigger uh, like high valuable uh, uh, money producing buildings with this those character you want a high stat here and this is like exploring adventuring questing you also need this skill uh, to unlock like the new parts of a town then we have the main skill then we have the artifact you can also level the artifacts then you have here a little bit story tidbit so this uh, character for example is really good at exploring this one is also an explorer but has a, like also like good finance skills, good farming skills. I think this will become one day an emperor of China. This character. Um, I can look up his name. Let me check quickly. Yeah, it's it's actually Yongle, apparently. And uh, this was uh, like uh, his uh, name before he became emperor. And for example, this one this one is a figure from a legend, uh, Lady Butterfly or something like that. I really like the uh, art style of this game and uh, she is really good with finance and yeah so those are the characters how do you get characters this this is the rolling button you have either like seasonal banners with special characters and there you use like your golden scrolls for each roll you do with the golden scroll you get one of those refined bars if you don't get a character you absolutely want for 150 you can just buy the this character so let's do a standard roll or not a standard a gold roll for this banner um then you get the screen and you can just like draw anything you like 
And I got uh, like two star character, basically the worst kind, so nothing. But oh well, those uh, you get like dupe parts for this. This is the standard banner. You only can get like the worst kind of characters from uh, the standard banner and some mediocre artifacts, but it's there. We can do a ten roll. Um. And then you get characters, like this guy. Oh, I really like the art style of that lady. I think he was like some kind of scribe or poet. And yeah, there are actually like quests and um, those uh, characters actually have stories and plots and it's like in a visual novel and I don't understand Chide because like I don't speak Chinese, which is a little bit a pity. And here you can see you get dupe parts and some artifacts. And yeah, with enough dupes, you can level up the skills of your characters. But now let's see what my main city is doing. And this is the first map you start with. You see here that characters have finished an action and uh, leveled up. Like basic news. And yeah, this is the uh, tax collector's office that I told you about. Click it. And here for 16 hours everything will be automatic, uh, uh, automatically. Which of course you do. And yeah, why isn't like the vegetable picked automatically? Well, because my warehouses are full, so I need like to produce some food. Um, yeah, um, those are like leveled up housing. You see that the NPCs also like have a name, they have a small backstory, they form bonds with other NPCs and stuff like that. It's it's all really lovely. If you can speak Chinese, I bet it's even better. So, what do you see here? You can see here like some shops, level and up shops. As you can see here, those generate money. You send like characters or NPCs into those shops and you they generate after for this uh, instance like after three hours they generate 650 money uh, this is the cow I have and you actually have to get her manure away so you pick someone you, you are the lucky guy. Those are like industry buildings that produce like charcoal, paper, planks. I can uh, produce some planks because I sent some planks, so just to keep the production going. Those are like leveled up housing and yeah. What I wanted to show you here, yeah, those are again like parts of the town I can still free up, but it costs like 300,000 to do so, or 6,150 gems, with the, which is the premium currency and a lot of money. This is like a world wonder you build. Every city has some, or like only one, like in that case. I still need salt. I can't produce salt right now, but in my the new city I showed you first, there can be produced salt at some point. Um, yeah, then I can finish uh, the world one. And this is really just like decorational buildings, or like just to enjoy the scenery. And I really love the art style. It's absolutely lovely. I think this is like a, the door into like the underworld. 
stuff like that. I built here like, um, like a small cherry blossom park with a tavern where people can just sit and enjoy the cherry blossoms and it's spring and yeah, it's it's a lovely looking game and I really enjoy it just like to look at it. Um, it's a very soul smoothing game. Those are wells, they produce money. <laughs> yes, basically you pick up the money that the people throw into the wells. And um, yeah, then you have your dailies. You get daily mission each day. Yeah, they don't take a lot of time to fulfill. It's mostly basic stuff. I think you can do them in literally five minutes. And yeah, I will show you also like the second city I have. Only now I start to have an idea what to do with this city. Yeah, you started here in the part and uh, here you have your buildings, uh, your housings. And I also started the world wonder here. But what I plan with this city is to earn enough money to free up this space, which costs 268,400 uh, and build here a giant flower park. Now I will show you something. As you can see, you can pack buildings as you want. Oh, another mole man. Let's visit him. And pick the best rewards for ourselves. As you can see here, this is the same city we started in right now. And here's the mole man and a golden artifact. And that is, of course, very nice. And we will pick it. A dog, a hunting dog. This is like a little built up city already. The one we started just recently. Like of course it's still very small. Cute is a little bit bigger. Let's return. So yeah, I built here this flower garden and <laughs> with a walking pig in it, but yeah. And I want to transfer the flower garden into this part of the town and really build it up like a really nice um, vast flower garden where you can walk. Those are the decorational buildings. You get them through various means. Um, the more lavish, the harder it is usually to get, of course. But this is like a bird garden with a peacock in it, with a walking peacock, really nice. So this will be like one of the main attraction in the park I am going to build. And here you have some shops, let them generate money. Money is important, money is really important. Here we have also more shops like uh, some pharmacies. And here you grow puppies, opium, because of course. But uh, you can turn opium into medicine, of course, and turn this into good money. Oh, actually it's full. Cool. Let's produce some food. There are a lot of characters, um, like, let's, uh, no, no, ah, here, yeah. those are the characters, uh, those are the basic characters, those are the medium tier characters, 
or what I call the four star character, uh, three star characters, and those are the four star characters or golden characters. And you can see here that I'm lacking quite a few. Here you have uh, like some nice group pictures with the different characters. Ah, oh, this guy looks so cool. I, uh, if I remember correctly, he was like a really famous warrior that always had like a bronze mask and quite terrifying guy, apparently. So, yeah. Let's go on with the buildings. Like I said, production buildings. Here you have like pleasure buildings or government buildings. There are always two kinds. Either the one you build with like a normal free to play resources or the one you build with like gems, like the premium currency. What do they do? They increase the happiness of your citizen tree. Like, for example, this theater here increases it by 130. If I reach this threshold, this is the next threshold, I can uh, build more housing. This is the limit of the housing. With, like, the housing, I can uh, invite more characters and do uh, run more shops, run uh, more production facilities. You get the gist. Let's take a quick sippy. So, then you have like basic decoration buildings like lanterns, um, small channels, trees, stuff like that. Oh. And then you have the big decorational buildings. There are several tiers, like um, basic tiers, like some flowers, um, like banners, uh, like a picnic, stuff like that. And then there are the really big, nice decorational buildings that you get from event. Or I got this pagoda, for example. Uh, I got it from uh, like... Uh, uh, finishing a story mission so those are the things you actually want to have like they look really beautiful also what does it ask you from here it's are you sure you want to place the building in this city because like as you can see here in with this garden some buildings are locked um, uh, as soon as you put it in one city they stay in that city you can upgrade your ports um, to uh, some levels then you can move buildings to other cities but um, yeah usually the buildings are like um, city locked so i can build the, this garden for example only here's the warning can't build it here. I can build it only in, right now in my capital because that's where I build it first. And yeah, so those buildings you get it for example from events. This is this like swamp park or like pond park or something like that i got from a recent event like a multiplayer event there are multiplayer events yes you actually went to quest and had to gather items and stuff like that and increase the point value of the team you um, do the mission with like up to a five in the, including yourself uh, five people and then you want to increase your points and then you get rewards and uh, you can exchange those rewards for like nice buildings that's the uh, gist of it you can also get the basic like 
um, like flower pots or something like that. Uh, basic recreational buildings, cruel like capturing like criminals that roam your city. Let's see if there is. Yes, we are hunting a bandit. There is a bandit uh, to hunt. He can be anywhere in uh, one of my cities in each of them free so oh but here it is this is the guy very menacingly standing right next to the hedgehog and the pig let's capture him put him into jail and the jailer is already re-educating this criminal again there are different kind of criminals like some only need three hours for re-education but they drop only like the most basic like decorational structures and some take up to 20 hours for re-education and those drop really nice items can drop really nice items um yeah, this is my friends list. You send friendship points here. You receive friendship points. And those friendship points you can exchange here. And this button, you can exchange it, for example, standard roles or like experience books to level your character, stuff like that. This is the shop page for gems or like special offers for the monthly also it's not 415 euros it's a 4 euro 50 15 so yeah um, the prices are okay-ish um, how do they generate money how is it uh, like uh, the monetization of this game the game is free to play you can perfectly like unlock every character for free and the roles are not the problem the drop rate is quite good like i the drop rate is like six percent for a golden character that is really good uh, compared for example to genshin impact with like 0.6 percent so that is not a problem you spend those gems for like nice buildings that's the kicker like for example this flower garden uh, flower exhibition i think it is like cost 900 gems that was quite a lot but here it is i spend it um you get like 20 gems from dailies you get of course gems uh, from uh, like story missions and stuff like that and you can get gems from uh, the shop. The monthly pass provides you with 50 gems per day for a month. That is uh, for 4 euro 15, it's okay. Let's produce some money. The music is really nice. Also. So yeah, um, this is like a wild garden I plant. I want to move that tax office at some point next to my government building and then uh, move like the coaching station here so this will be like the wild park something like that yeah here we have like some story tidbit for this NPC so what do we have here we have here missions so for example build three of those like uh, temple buildings confusion academies i don't know i'm sorry i'm so sorry but let's build one to fulfill the mission ah let's see actually here and here you see the coast for workers you can use a character um to build it actually it needs a character to build it uh, and the character replaces one worker so you actually need four npcs one character 700 money 150 uh, like processed food like dishes and 230 clothing let's do that 
with my chief architect and his ludicrous like building skills. This will be really fast, a really fast job. Yeah, um, it now takes instead of four hours, like under two hours, like because of his high skill. You can speed up things with like those tickets. You get them also from quests and stuff like that. So uh, let's go back to uh, the new city, Bamboo River City. I don't know what actual name it is. Aha! We have here a new bamboo groove. This one grew. Food, money, 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 money. Oh, food. And yeah, I really need to get a like. Uh, the the taxpayer ah uh, the taxpayer the tax collector so let's put another bamboo groove into this city because uh, this uh, city actually needs bamboo the other two cities don't every city has uh, different like needs and let's put it here just for building purposes. Again, it takes half an hour to build. And let's make here a little bit space. As you can see, I clicked and hold my left mouse to get into the moving menu. And now I can move structures. Any structure is movable besides like um, those city walls. They don't move. Let's not already hear him. And yeah. Can I upgrade it? No, still not enough bamboo. Let's produce more bamboo. This is a warehouse and here you can check how much bamboo you, or any other resource you have. There are quite a lot of resources and I'm not even half through the, to the max level. Like there is a lot more going on. Like you can see here, those are all production facilities that I still have to uh, unlock. You unlock those with like different levels. I'm currently level 27. For example, this facility opens up at uh, 28, same as with this facility here. So yeah, um, up to level, I would say 25, it's fairly fast, then uh, the level up is like a little bit harder. You can see here, I need a lot of experience points, but yeah. Here you also have like um, login rewards. Tomorrow I will get uh, like 30 gems, for example. This is another login reward system for like beginning players. I think f uh, for the first like five weeks, seven weeks or something like that, you get those rewards, which are quite good, quite nice. And uh, so, yeah, what I actually wanted to do is build one of those decorational buildings. Oof, I think I made a terrible, terrible mistake. Yes. I sent 10 bales of cloth to few to build it. So let's see. Yes, there is a ship available. How fast can you ship 10 bales? Of clothes in 10 minutes that's okay <laughs> because like my plan is like to build the theater stage and with the theater stage I will have enough like decorational building uh, to unlock a, a new house 
and so to increase like my population and to increase population is good population let's build just like some roads Um, 30 minutes. Yeah, why not? Um, this guy... Um, yeah, let's go with him. So, different characters get different uh, bony on, uh, like, which... Um, work they prefer, and they level them faster. Um, bum, 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 bum. So, yeah. About like there's. There are a lot more things to go on, but I don't want um, to overwhelm you guys. Um, you have actually like quests. You can go on questing. Um, there are like special like characters, special uh, merchants like this one here for example and he will give you for like those trade goods he will give you like not only experience points but also like experience bars to level uh, artifacts. So let's do this. Also for the experience. Um, there are like corrupt officials and i will uh, tell you more uh, about the totally non-bribable official jan the next time i hope maybe he will visit me that would be very nice and yeah check it out um if you have questions of any kind uh, to this game Post it in the comments. I will try to answer it to my the best of my abilities. And yeah, and maybe one last thing. Ah, the government building. This is actually important. The each city has like a government building. In this government building, you have this button here. Those are current running events. Right now, there's not much going on. But... Usually, there's quite a lot of events uh, um, running. Uh, like some... Last week, it was some kind of cooking event. Uh, there was, of course, uh, the uh, multiplayer quest. Or you hunt ghosts in your city, stuff like that. Uh, um, we will start actually today, as far as uh, I know, like with a new event circle, cycle. And I will post most uh, uh, more about those events when they trigger. Uh, it should be today, at some point. And I will make the next time a new video if uh, there are people that are interested in the game of course and yeah that is Jiangnan. i really like it i actually really really like it it just looks nice and uh, the mechanics are fine uh, they're they they are not brain burner mechanics of course but they're enjoyable so, um, that's it for me. I wish you a happy time. Like, surround yourself with nice people. Happy city building. And yeah, hope see you next time. Bye bye.